everybody. Hope everybody is having a good week so far. I managed to get a few journals done and um, listed in the shop. So if you're interested in these, we're going to do a little flip through. Um, they vary in style. And I'm going to start with this one. This is I've named this one Bluebell. Now this is a very um, plain writing journal. I have not done as much um, embellishing on this as what I normally do, so um, you'll see that as we go through. Um, it's an altered book that I've covered with fabric, and it has come out really nice, um, similar to the one I did <clears throat> previously, but like I said, I've kept this one plain just because, you know, I just, um, this is part of what I'm calling my stash um, busting journals just trying to knock out some of the um, supplies that I've just been hoarding and it's just time to clear out so that is my thinking behind uh, these journals and I had the book covers left over from various things so it's just a it's a nice way to upcycle and recycle um, some of these book covers so as you can see, I've left it plain. You could always add a um, book plate. I've just chosen, you know, not to on this one because, like I said, I'm. I just need to get um, get these journals out. And clearing some space, guys. Um, kept the front and the back plain so you could add things. Um, I suppose this is the type of journal for somebody who's just getting into journaling and they're just wanting to dabble and add some things, but want the the base of the, the journal already complete. I have done a hollow back spine on this one so it lays really nice and flat you know while you're working. Let me show you the size. It's larger than you know my the the journals that I make. So this is a seven and a quarter by nine and three eighths so it's a large journal you got a lot of uh, writing space here fabric um, this is scrapbook paper this is avocado dyed paper um, digitals within it and here I've done a bit of um, stitching on some uh, fabric Um, various things, some ledger I had tea dyed, a bit of tracing paper, this is an Edith Holden book page, another digital image that I've tea dyed, this is an old um, flower book page, love the colors on that, pocket, and this is some of the um, shipping paper, I've done some punching, stitching, I really love how it's come out, even though it's very plain. I know a lot of people prefer these type journals so that they can make it their own, So, um, which is great for me because I do need to. Um, here's another little pocket I've made. This is one of the old vintage um, typewriter manual pages. So like I said, you're going to start seeing you know, these amongst my other journals just because I have got to, to clear out, guys. I It's getting on top of me again. Um, I don't know how it happens, but it does. Um, here's another little pocket. Lots of stitching. I just love how it's come out, even though it's so simple. It's just beautiful. This is one of those Franken pages, and I love the shades. This is bits of avocado, dyed paper, tea dyed um, and just varied um, shading. That's tea dyed as well, but look at how different they've come out. And then a bit of the leftover Edith Holden, some stitching. So you've got a nice big uh, space there for writing. This is an old vintage um, cash book that I had dice, you know, taken apart, and the pages are so beautifully aged. Um, another little pocket on this digital. Uh, print out folded um, bit of stitching here and this was one of the um, 
Kath Kitson um, pages that I had, so I love how that's come out. I like the mix of, I know a lot of people are really funny about white within their journal, but I love that in contrast to the, um, the tea and coffee dyed. It just appeals to me, but I know a lot of people do not like it, so, you know, be aware of that. More avocado dyed paper. Love how this has come out. Um, this is just an old, um, or not an old, this is a scrapbook paper that I tea dyed, and I love how that, that's come out. It's nice, sturdy, so if you wanted to do a bit of mixed media, you could gesso on that, and I feel, I feel like it would hold up quite well for mixed media. So, you know, this would be a great art book. Um, and then this is some tea dyed um, doily. Sorry, it's early. I've, I've only had three cups of coffee, so the words aren't coming like they should. This one, I love how this has come out. Okay, so what I did here, guys, I sandwiched one of my old vintage, isn't that image stunning? This is an old image, um, a book page from a, I can't even remember the name of this, and don't you just hate that? I took the book apart and did not note, because the images in this were just beautiful and gosh I'm kicking myself because I'd love to try to source that book again but what I did I sandwiched this between some of my uh, baking paper so that way your papers are going to slide easy you know in and out easily and it's kind of I don't know I just like the look of that um, it wasn't a particularly fragile sheet I didn't need it because to do it because of that I just like the way that 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 looks and then some old trim here did some punching and aren't these gorgeous images here this is another old vintage floral book page but I just I don't know everything just seemed to come together on this one uh, the coloring I really just think it has a nice um, flow to it this is another Edith Holden book page some more tracing and then another little um, tuck spot here. This is another book page from a, um, I think this was a fairy tale, and it was kind of a spooky fairy tale book. I've posted in the past a few of the images on there that I did not use in journals because they were really scary. <laughs> it's funny when you look back at stuff, um, the old fairy tale books uh, in, you know, of our day. They were a little bit creepy, but um, that was a pretty image. But anyways, so another book page from this. Is, aren't those just beautiful? Um, another digi uh, there. Oh, I love how that doily came out there. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, this was a Tim Holtz uh, page. And this was an old uh, Pooh notebook type book. It was really sweet, so it's got Winnie the Pooh down there. Just a, another eclectic mix of things that I've got in my stash. Um, this is uh, Digi uh, for the avocado with lace. I love that. And then another uh, vintage floral. So as you can see, it's very much a floral themed. Um, I love it. I just... I really am happy with how it's come out, even though it, you know, it's, it doesn't have a lot of embellishing in it or pockets. Whoever the recipient is can fill this. And there, as you can see, there's a lot of writing space in here. Um, old music sheet, another little pocket here. Uh, love that page. That um, doily, I wish I could remember what I did to make that one come out like that. That's beautiful. It's funny how they vary so much when you're uh, doing these. I love these pages. The illustrations in that book are just gorgeous. So there you have it, guys. That is Bluebell. The closure is uh, Sorry Silk, 
So it's a very simple, plain, but beautifully made book. Still a lot of work goes into these with the covering of the, you know, the fabric. Um, even though you haven't embellished, there's still quite a lot of work goes into this. Okay, and now we are back to, to Gina style. And this is a, I've named this one Floral. Floral is made from a, an 12 by 19, uh, 12 by 9 envelope that has been through numerous treatments. I've got old uh, pattern tracing paper, you know, the, the thin uh, tissue that's been decoupaged on, and then I've decoupaged um, some of the papers here. These are antique papery. Uh, did stitching around it. It's a two signature, five hole pamphlet stitch. Um, the image here is Artie Mays. And then this um, little book plate and the name tag is Love Junk Journals. Old vintage lace behind here and then I made a ruffle down here. The closure is um, seam binding with a couple of eyelets. I love how these journals have come out. So on the front here, gosh, you've got a big pocket back here, two pockets here, and I'm probably only going to pull out, you know, things that are handmade because I've tried to fill it with um, a lot of journal cards, uh, but there's so much, and I've got another journal to go through as well. Snippets, old vintage buttons, vintage doilies, um, handmade tags that have been stamped and collaged and sorry silk. Here's more avocado paper. This is an old Edith Holden uh, cookery book. This is an old stitching book. Some more fabric ruffle. This is an old uh, type, uh, typewriter book page. Here we've got a dimensional butterfly on that little journaling card, more collaging. A lot of the images in here are Artie Mays, you'll probably recognize. Um, Here's another uh, flip out with a CD holder, and this is an Artie Maze. I've just kept, left this one open so that you could do some journaling within and tuck it away. And here we go. This page is probably my favorite within this. I've done stenciling behind. Love that. And this was a mistake that um, just turned out beautifully. <laughs> I'm really happy how it came out in the end. But um, people were saying, well, where's the mistake? And there, there's the mistake. You know I show all the flaws and all. I flipped that up accidentally during the stitching process. And then this is some of my sorry that, um, I don't know what you call this. It varies in shading. Um, but I love it. It's um, beautiful, sorry, silk. And then this is a journal card that's been backed and collaged. And then this is from my stash. But I absolutely love that uh, in bit of interest on that little tuck spot there. Some is, this is some of the uh, Tim Holtz vellum paper. I've done on some of the plain pages, I've done some subtle uh, stamping in the background. And just just a real um, mix of things from my stash. Lots of stitching in this journal, as you can see. And I've tried to do a lot of uh, fabric additions as well. Vintage, vintage, vintage papers. <laughs> I got lots of vintage book pages, guys. I'm trying to really 
dwindle down because my stash is getting enormous. Um, here is another little pocket window I've made. I believe this was in one of my 100 day challenges. And then just various things that I think go along and um, they could all be moved around obviously. I love that old trim. I picked that up at the flea market here. Um, uh, gosh, it's got to be close on a... Well, it was right after we moved back, so it must have been September of last year I bought that. I love that trim. I've added some little glass beads to the center. And I'll give you... This is all uh, the antique papery paper. Uh, this is another little tuck spot there. I love that image. Isn't that beautiful? Sometimes it's just the really simple images are sometimes the, the prettiest to me. And like I said, you can see there's a lot of writing space in this. Here I've done a belly band with, um, gosh, it's got so many layers on there. And then this little journal card tucked back there. And this is a little envelope. This is an aged paper clip. I haven't put anything in the envelope, but it's clipped on there and you can add some things to it. Uh, sten more stenciling. I love how that's coming out. Beautiful. And let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this one. I love how this has come out. That's another little altered paper clip. I just tucked these little journal cards, but this is a book page uh, pocket and it flips over. You've got another journal card here. There's a pocket there for you to tuck some things, a pocket here, and then I've just clipped it with this so that it's like a little secret uh, pocket there. I don't know if you can see, that's the, the stamping on the page. I love how those have come out. Yeah, I really enjoyed making these. This is another little envelope that's just been folded and clipped on. Some more old trim with a ruffle. Another little tag. And I've put it in this one. It's got a little lavender sachet. And as soon as you get to this page, oh, wow, the fragrance really comes out. This is a hand crocheted little flower. And just a little snippet I had in my stash. Here you've got a double tuck spot and then just a couple of little tags tucked in there. More fabric ruffle. And this is my little Amity Bloom inspired pocket. Um, and I've added a little, just a little scrap of fabric and then this tiny tag. And I love that. I just love the little bit of fabric hanging there. I think it's so sweet. Another little journal card from my stash. Here is another um, double tuck spot. You got a place here you can add something. And then that one. Another belly band here with a journal card tucked behind it. And that's been layered with fabric and paper. Edith Holton book page. Um, this is just a newsprint paper bag. And then on the back here I just took lots of different little, this is vintage ledger, vintage music sheet, and then some textured cardstock that's been run through the embosser, and then just various things. It's just, you know, just a bit of interest that you can jot some things on there. Another fabric ruffle here with stenciling. 
And then this, I really like how this came out. This is a little little pocket back here behind this negative cut, so you can tuck something away there. I've added one of the little calf kits and envelopes. I won't open it, but so you got lots of writing space within that. Love this pocket with another little tag tucked in there. Lots of collaging on that. Beautiful. I don't know. Some some journals just speak to you, and this and the the one I'm about to show. It's going to have to be in another video because I'm running out of time. Um, well, I might be able to manage it on here if I stop and restart. Um, they just speak to you. Uh, you know, I mean, there's some... I love all of the journals I create because I wouldn't create them if I didn't. Uh, another bit of writing space. But you look back through and there's just some that just stay with you. And um, these are two of those, I'll tell you. I, I don't know. I just... I don't know. There's something about them. I think it because they're such a eclectic mix that that appeals to me. I know, you know, not everybody's style is the same, and I understand that. Um, but for me, I really like things to be mixed matched, but still have something that pulls them together. I love how that's come out. Bit of little lace up there. You can see all the little collaging on those and then just bits and pieces this is a glassine bag that I've made into you got let me think there's only there's one and there's two pockets on this one because I glued it completely down the newsprint bag another little card tucked in there this is another little envelope that I've just pinned in and here, got another tuck spot, and this is one of those uh, French vintage uh, seed pack labels that I've still got um, some of those that I'm working with, so I've started making some tags. And then this page, I've just run some of that trim just for some extra texture to that, but isn't that a beautiful page? This is antique papery as well. Um, another fabric ruffle. Some lined paper. And then this is another. I've got a postcard, journal card there. And then I love how this looks with all the stitching. And you've got three tags within that. And that's. You've got the large one. Beautiful. This is Artie Mays. And then this one's one of the vintage uh, seed packets, labels. And uh, those are true vintage. And then, oh, I love that page. Love, love, love that. And here, this is a um, Tracy Fox. She's got these in her shop, and I love to make little notebooks out of these. I think they are just so stinking adorable. So I've machine stitched that. I just love that. So that's tucked in. And then the back I left blank so that, you know, you could add a pocket if you wanted to. Or, um, But you can see it's a very big journal. Um, this is... About six and a quarter by nine. Two signature. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head the page count, but you could see uh, it's it's a big journal. So I'm going to stop the video now, guys, and I will be back to show you the last one. Okay, guys, this is um, this is the last one I've got ready, and I've named her Amongst the Roses. 
I love this journal. It just feels amazing. Again, this is the uh, antique papery uh, papers. Same process. It's a 12 by 9 envelope that I took uh, the vintage, you know, sewing pattern paper. And then I went over it and decoupaged this, inked it, stitched. It's two signature again. I love it. I just love this journal so, so much. Lots of layering. You've got the vintage um, laces, little snippets, little key tag that's been altered. Just, it feels good in your hands. It's got, I don't know, I just love it. <laughs> it's a seam bind, uh, bind enclosure. Yeah, I'm really enjoying these um, envelope journals at the moment. Uh, I cut, you know, I got started with my porch prints, and they turned out so beautiful um, that I just had to do this again because I, I've just really thoroughly enjoyed these. Um, well, in my haste, I see I've already I've forgotten to put something in this. That will be taken care of before this goes out. Um, I spent so much time on this journal and I intended to come back and I've just forgotten it. Got a big pocket here. Um, two pockets there. I've done some um, stitching and trim on top of some muslin there just for added interest. Some more vintage buttons and trims and Here's a handmade tag. Um, this is one of Artie Mae's calendar um, cards and tags she sells in her shop. Stunning images. Got the bumblebees. Here I've got another pocket. And then this giant tag and uh, pocket there. Added some more fabric to the top of that one. This one flips up. And then you've got this journal card comes out. And on the back of it is lined. So you can write some secret notes on this one. Another journal card here, tucked inside the newsprint paper bag. <coughs> I've done more stenciling in this one. This is a floating double pocket, so you've got a pocket here, and then this pocket. And it's all been backed. I absolutely love how that's come out. I think you can see now why I've named it uh, Amongst the Roses. This is full of uh, flower and rose images. And this little butterfly is uh, just glued in the center so that his little wings will come up when you're looking at it. You can manipulate it. So here you've got a, a little uh, pocket back here and then a pocket here and another journal card. I've done some stitching. A lot of stitching in these journals. Um, um, another fussy cut rose. More vintage paper. This was just a little um, envelope that I was playing around with and did some uh, took some images and added. So here when it flips over you've got three pockets. I love how that's come out. 
little journal card there. I tucked in another little tag. And then I made this little little tag there. Bit of um, button and fabric. And then I love this page. Got all the flips you can do writing on. And again, this is another um, bit of a stash buster um, journal because I just, you know, got extra bits of scrapbook paper and printouts that I hadn't used. And I just wanted to find a way to combine them all but make sure that they all coordinated. And I'm really pleased um, with how it's come out. It's... It just, these journals scream me so much. I can't um, tell you how much I've enjoyed working with these and putting them together. And it's just been a lot of fun. There's a bit of glass uh, beads in the center of these as well. Some more little fabric ruffles and snippets. and Another journal card. tucked inside an altered CD case, and that flips over so you can do some writing on the back there. Uh, let's see, just a bit more of this typed out, um, it was it was like a, a book, I picked it up back in Tallahassee, and, and it was all typewriter print, so I had to have it, and I, most of it is based on um, Horticulture. Some more of the little flips. I love those. Uh, and then this. I like how that's come out with the little bits of lace and trim. And then a couple more. I've got a journaling card and then a tag tucked in there. This is Artie Mays. Uh, her latest, the floral collage with extras. Oh, so crazy about that kit. It's me completely. Um, and this is an Artie Mays giant ticket. Ah, uh, I love those. <laughs> uh, some more stenciling. Uh, nothing in that, but there's room for you to add something. And then this is one of the, um, you get the little journal tag, um, card that tucks into the envelope. And this is part of that Artie Mays floral. Beautiful. Here I just took some scrappy um, avocado paper and I made a paper ruffle. Added some die cut. Edith Holden book page. Uh, here's another little snippet. And another of the calendar journal cards. This is a bit of the Tim Holtz scrapbook paper. You've got a pocket here. This is old music sheet. I've added some lace and an image there. So you've got a nice sturdy pocket there to add something to. Um, another journal card and a tea dyed uh, index card that I've cut down. This is another. Um, embossed pocket and then the here I've just taken this is um, an old uh, tablecloth that I picked up and this has all been hand embroidered and so I you can see there's a bit of staining but I actually like it I think it adds to it and you got a nice big pocket here and then this, you got a little journal card there that tucks inside. And this flips over, and it's like an old postcard or envelope, I guess, really, like an envelope. 
Another little pocket with some lace and just various things from my stash. And I love this, this piece here. This is like a coloring book and I uh, just thought it was really a pretty design. And then on the back here I've just covered this side with a bit of the antique papery. Another little bits and pieces that I had I stitched and added to that page. Now this page is a tsunami rose, and I love that. So you can see it's just it's just a mix of uh, so many different papers, but I think they all still work together really well. And this flips over, so you've got journaling space there, and this is put on top of an old vintage book page. Some old uh, writing paper. In fact, I don't even remember. Nice weight as well. I can't recall where that one... I must have used all of it. A um, couple more handmade tags. This is a double pocket, obviously, with some stitching. More glass beads. More little tags here. Yeah, this flips over. This is beautiful paper. And here, I've just done a little tuck spot there. Here you've got a double, a double tuck spot, so you can add more things to. You've got a bit of writing space as well, and then another one of these little. That's some dried flowers that I'd done, and I sandwiched them between, and then framed it with this embossed cardstock. Another little journal card, and then I've just added some trim along the edge so that it would hang over. I love how that's come out. Some more collaging on this page. And I love this page. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite page. Um, I just love it. I love how that came out. I'll give you a close up. Man. I love that. Just that little bit of teal against the pink. I really like it. Maybe, you know, it just, I don't know. This page is my favorite, favorite, favorite. <laughs> and then I love how that has matched so nicely with that coffee dyed um, doily. Uh, this is uh, tailor-made journals, I believe. Tailor-made journals. And Etsy, I'm pretty sure she sells these coffee dyed uh, papers, beautiful papers. Just another little snippet. Add a little label here. And then this has got a journal card tucked in here. It's a glassing bag that's been altered into a little pocket there and then I added some sari with some old trim I had. Lots of little snippets here and there. Ah, oh, I love this one too. I forgot about this page because I wanted that butterfly. I just I have to have the butterflies in there guys. That's it's I suppose that's my thing is I've got to have those dimensional butterflies. And then here I just tore this page. I kind of like the look of that because I think I think that when you're looking down on it, I really like the way it all looks. I'm still learning, still working guys and I guess you never completely done learning but yeah I'm trying to, to keep adding to my style and uh, here's another little tuck spot. So that's why you know it's hopefully I'm keeping things fresh, I hope. <laughs> um, and then I love how this has come out. This was a Tim Holtz. And some of the parts I thought, oh, I didn't really like. 
And so I just came back and collaged over them, and I love that. I really like how that's come out. Again, I left the back plain, so if you wanted to add something, you could, but I'll tell you, it's pretty chunky. Um, I will hate to see this one go, I'll be honest. This is a, um, like I told you, these, there's just some of your creations that, um, you pour out your heart and soul into, and um, these two are no exception. I just so so happy with how they came out. They have a wonderful feel for me. <clears throat> a journal needs to have it's got to have a certain feel to it, and um, and I just I'm just really pleased. Sorry to keep going on. <laughs> But, uh, and then, like I said, this one, you know, although it's plain, I still love it. It's, um, it's very different to these, obviously, but, but they've all, you know, they've all got a bit of me in them. And, um, so there they are, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through today. I really hope everybody's having a great summer. And getting, you know, some time to do some of the things that you want because it's so difficult when you're working all the time and the weather's not particularly nice at other times of the year. But I hope everybody's just getting out and doing some enjoyable things. You know, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Just go someplace and sit down for a few minutes in the sun and have an ice cream cone. You know, it's. I think we often have these expectations of what our summer vacation needs to be and for a lot of people it can it can get them down because you know maybe they can't afford to go out on a vacation but you can still have a beautiful summer full of beautiful memories um, but maybe just make them a little bit simpler go if you like to go antique shopping set aside a day and go out and just browse the shops and treat yourself to a nice coffee at a beautiful little coffee shop somewhere. Um, those to me, that's the things you're going to remember. Um, it, it's not always about, you know, flying somewhere or, um, you know, it's the little things, the little things that I think um, we often overlook. So anyways, I'll stop my little rambling, but you know how I am. <laughs> I just hope everybody has a wonderful summer, and I will be back here soon, I hope, with uh, with some more journals to share or create with me. So I've got lots planned, lots of um, things happening this month. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye!